Hey, what's going on guys, Zexus here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to record your computer screen here in 2016. This method's been around for a while, honestly, but this method works very well in 2016. It's easy and it's free, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So step number one, we're gonna to need to go on Google or whatever um, internet browser you use, and we're gonna go type in OBS and search in the Google bar, uh, put a link down in the description to the website, or you can just type in the actual URL, which is obsproject.com, as you can see up here. Um, so, <clears throat> so basically what we're gonna do here is you can see um, get OBS, and that's the current version uh, for Windows 7, 8, or 10, or get OBS multi-platform, which would be Windows 7, 8, or 10, OS X 10.8 plus, or Linux. So you can get OBS for your different um, you know, computer model, whatever the craps they're called. So next what you're gonna wanna do is just click on whatever version you are of your Windows, your OS X, your Linux. Personally, I'm Windows, so I'll, I would click on the Windows button. And this would want me to save this and then the installer would be installed. And I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna go through it, guys. But basically, you know, you just download the installer, you run through it. It takes you literally about like a minute and a half, two minutes to go through the installer and have the program installed. And it's very fast, simple, and easy, and it's free. So anyway, once you get the program installed, it'll look like this. Obviously, you won't see all of this. You can see like there's inception of my computer right here. And that's just because um, I have it to record my monitor screen and it's recording this, which is live to this one, which is live to this one, which is live to that one, and so on, basically. So it won't look like this. It'll just be like a white screen here. And as you can see, if I were to tick this off, it goes black as you can see I clicked on my monitor capture here so basically when you start out you won't have all this obviously I do some videos on here and I do some live streams through here so I, I prepared this scene right here as our test stream obviously you can't see anything right now so let me just show you how you guys would start this so first off you download the OBS you get into it and we're gonna go into our settings so, you know, you're going to want to change some things up, whether you're live streaming or whether you're recording. So for this video tutorial, specifically, we're recording a video. We're not live streaming, we're recording. So if you want a tutorial for live streaming, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll gladly make one. But in this video, we're specifically talking about recording your video. So you don't have to worry about any of this, the encoding, um, the the hotkeys or the advanced um, because we're, we're, you don't have to worry about any of that. The only things we're going to be focusing on are the broadcast settings, video, and audio. They're the only three things because that's all you need for when you're recording the video. The other stuff's for live streaming. So for broadcast settings, you're going to want to go there. For recording a video, you're going to want to make sure that the mode is set to file output only. You don't want it set to live stream. You want it set to file output only. Only if you're recording. If you're live streaming, obviously you would have it on live stream and I'll cover that in a different tutorial if you guys want. So you're gonna to wanna to put it on file output only and you're gonna choose your file path, basically where it'll be saved to when um, when you're done the recording. Next you can go to video and you can check, like select your different video adapters, like which graphics card you wanna be using or if you have that option. Uh, the base resolution, I recommend custom, and I would recommend this, 1920 by 1080. That would give you a 1080p video, and the aspect ratio of 16 to 9. I would definitely recommend this. Um, resolution downscale, um, I don't really think you really need to do anything with this, but you can copy mine if you want to. Um, the filter, I leave mine at bilinear just because it's the fastest, and then I leave it at 60 frames per second just because this computer is capable of recording in 60 frames per second. Now for you guys, 60 frames per second might be a little too hard on your computer, so you know you can lower that down to 30. No lower than 30 though. So basically that's all you'll need to do in video, and then audio you can select, like you know if you're recording a game or you're recording you know, your screen and you want the volume playing of what's actually going on on your computer, you know, you select your desktop audio device. So for me, it's speakers. So if I were to play music on my computer, even though it's not playing out loud out of the TV, you would still be able to hear it since it's technically going through the system speakers. Next, you can choose to use a microphone slash auxiliary device. As you can see, there's a list of multiple ones. Here's my blue snowball. I already have that set up, but I'm not going to do anything with it because, um, I'm not using my, um, what's it called, my 
the, the built-in voice recording on this. So anyway, now I'll show you how to set up a scene. Um, so normally you would click on it, but obviously if I click on it, you guys aren't going to be able to see what I'm doing. So let's go. Okay, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing anyway when I go to do this. Okay, so let's just let's work on this scene. All right. Give me a second, guys. I'll get you in in just a second. Okay, so there we go. We're back. All right, so basically what I did was you would go to scene and then you can rename this if you want. So I'm going to name this um, tutorial just so I know I can delete it later. Um, tutorial. And next, you know, this would be blank. So you would right click on it and you would go add. And now you have the add option and then you have window capture, monitor capture, image, image slideshow, global source, text, video capture, game capture. You have all this stuff here. So if you're just recording your screen as I am for a tutorial video like this, you would either use monitor capture or window capture. Whatever one your computer handles best, I personally use monitor capture. If you had a game, like you know you have a gaming computer, you could record your games by using the game capture. And I can show you that in a different video in more depth if you'd want to. So anyway, I would click monitor capture just because. And as you can see, my source is now selected. If I untick this source, the screen goes black. If I leave it ticked, that means it's in the scene presently. So as you can see, there's this black bar around the video because um, you know it's, the video isn't fitting in the frame that, I, that I'm setting. So basically I'd want to make sure the monitor capture is selected simply by clicking on it and I would hit edit scene and I would go to this and I would just drag it like that. Now the whole thing is in and then I would click edit scene to stop. So you know that's basically it guys for this tutorial you know we did our settings right there we added in our monitor capture now as you can see I can capture my monitor I can capture you know the windows here and whatnot of what I want to do I can capture all this different stuff and it was real fast and real easy as you can see here's my audacity going on right now real fast real easy tutorial if you guys liked it make sure to hit that like button to show me some support Leave a comment down below if you want me to make some tutorials for live streaming and you know a more in-depth tutorial of OBS, like recording actual game footage and whatnot. I'd be happy to do that, guys. This is just a simple, basic tutorial on how to record your screen. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.